be restored in all of Jammu and Kashmir starting the 14th of October. That's Monday uh, from 12 noon on the 14th of October. This has been confirmed by Rohit Kansal, who is the principal secretary uh, in the Jammu and Kashmir administration. Uh, let's just listen in to what Rohit Kansal said, uh, and then we'll try and go across to Mufti Islam. Relation to Since the 16th of August, there has been a gradual removal of the restrictions that were imposed. A decision has now been taken to restore mobile phone facilities in the remaining areas of Jammu and Kashmir. More specifically, all postpaid mobile phones, irrespective of the telecom service provider, will stand restored and be functional from 12 noon on Monday, the 14th of October, 2019. Aruma is now joining us on the phone line. Aruma, uh, was there any sort of rationale or explanation from Rohit Kansal in that PC as to how they've got to this point where they feel comfortable that they can uh, open up postpaid mobile connections? Well, they have been under a lot of pressure, international pressure, pressure from uh, domestic quarters as well. Some, uh, you know, even the Supreme Court of India, when it was hearing the petition, had had uh, without uh, passing any strictures, asked the government to look into uh, the communication blockade that was going on uh, in the in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. So they had uh, veered toward opening up BSNL postpaid connections about two weeks ago, but subsequently they decided that they could uh, take uh, quote unquote the risk of including uh, the Airtel, Jio, and Vodafone subscribers as well. We're talking about. 40 lakh subscribers here who have postpaid connection. 26 lakh have prepaid connections there. They are the ones who are being left out. But this comes as a huge relief. This is something that even when the Punch and the Sarpanch uh, delegations came to meet Amit Shah when they made, met Jitendra Singh, other leaders here, this is one thing that they have been uh, demanding all this while, that end the communication blockade, at least restore mobile connectivity, even if you are uh, skeptical about internet facilities. Uh, and uh, he hasn't said, I was just getting to that, he hasn't said or given any kind of a broad indication or timeline as to when these prepaid connections will be restored and of course mobile internet which we're also you know used to these days Yes, I think mobile internet will take uh, longer. The sense that I get after speaking to intelligence agencies is that they're still skeptical about uh, how WhatsApp specifically is being used by Pakistan or Pakistan-supported elements which do not want peace uh, in Jammu and Kashmir. So they are still a little apprehensive about uh, uh, restoring internet connectivity there. Uh, prepaid, maybe in the next two or two and a half weeks, they will review the situation there. All right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, so the decision that's been taken is uh, postpaid mobile connections will be restored only voice calls uh, there's no indication of when or at least broadly by when uh, mobile internet can be restored or for that matter prepaid uh, mobile telephony can be restored restored but as Arunam was saying that could happen sooner than the mobile restrictions mobile internet restrictions which could uh, which could take possibly uh, longer weeks if not months all right uh, let's uh, shift focus back to the Modi Xi summit